Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be modifying the snare on my Korg Volca Beats. This is not my design, and I will give a link to the original person, Darren Glenn's YouTube video. Um, I'm going to be using a 104 or 100 nanofarad capacitor in the largest size I could find. I'm going to be doing it a little differently where I'm going to be using a switch. I guess this would be a double pull, double throw on off on switch so I uh, will be wiring the capacitor to one side the center will go to the points on the board the C78 points on the board and the other side of the switch will go to some leads with some female plugs so I can uh, temporary plug in other other capacitors without having to solder um, and I'll probably run these out the battery compartment or drill a hole. I'm not really sure where I'm going to mount these yet, but... So looking at the clearance, it's going to be real tight getting the switch in here. And it's close, but it's going to be tight. So I'm going to cut these legs off right at the holes and just solder on to the stubs that are above the holes. Got my switch all prepped. I trimmed all the lugs off and then tinned them all with solder. Um, so now I'm going to attach the 104 capacitor uh, to one side of the switch, across one side. I'm going to kind of bend the legs and position it near one side of the switch. Somehow I'm not sure exactly. Um, and then the other side of the switch will get the green leads with the female jacks to plug in whatever temporary capacitor I want to temporary test out. And then the orange will go to the center of the switch, which will lead to the C78 position on the Korg Volca. And here's the switch with the added capacitor on the side and the leads connected to it. Okay, so it looks like C78 where we want to connect our snare is going to be right there. See that C78? Looks like those two open spots. So that's where I'm going to be connecting my orange wire. Before you attempt to solder the wires directly onto the board, First, you're going to want to tin the wires by heating them up and then adding some solder. I usually do this and kind of the jacket might run back a little bit, getting overheated. So then I'll come back in and trim it down 
nice and short. Now they got my wires attached to the board, I'm just gonna put some hot glue onto this pot and the wire right here, just as a strain relief so I don't accidentally pull anything off from the board, because that would be hard to fix. So let's put some hot glue. Make sure you're not getting it on the shaft or anywhere it's gonna interfere with anything. strain relief. Got my whole placement all mapped out where I want in line with the snare and basically just past this ridge. So I'm going to go ahead and drill out now. Now that the hole is drilled, I can go ahead and mount the switch and close everything back up. Okay, I've got everything put back together and pretty happy with it. So here's the snare in the center position. That's the stock snare sound. In the up position, it engages the large 104 capacitor recommended by Darren Glenn. Now to me, there's, there is a difference, but there's not a huge difference. Um, and then in the down position engages the green leads 
which I have a 2.2 UF or it's marked a 225 uh, capacitor, which is just much different. So stock again. So I much prefer that version. Darren Glenn's version, stock. I much prefer that one. So I may go back in and replace this uh, large 104 with maybe one slightly one or two steps higher. Not as high as this, but um, higher than the 104. And that is everything. So here, I'll, here is the original stock in the pattern. Much better. Thanks for watching.